Yo, this is Guido coming at you with a Tactics Talk. On this episode, we have an epic game with a platoon comprising Steve Gunner, Boshek of Cartel, and James Boss of Villain, all in tier 10s on the top of a 3-5-7. And this is the kind of game that we play what for? We play what for? <laughs> this is the kind of game you play this game for, right? When this happens... This is going to be an epic game. Let's see how it goes. Plus, I have to feature it because Steve Gunner has put this ridiculous camo on his Type 5, the Candyman can. That's what this one's titled, the Candyman can. So let's see what he does. He's moving up here into the southwest corner. And they're coming up to take this castle, which is pretty easily done. And then he changes his mind, he's going to go over to the middle. And that's something you can do while you're headed up to the castle. If the castle gets taken care of, no problem, then he'll shift over here. This is a good tank to do this in as well. Because it can really stop up a corner with this big beast. Plus there's no artillery, so that's nice. And it's a 357, which is also good, because they're just going to absolutely decimate any of the smaller tanks. And what these guys have to avoid having happen is their team completely melting and getting swarmed because the VK and the Type 5s will go down pretty quick if you get a bunch of guys in behind and to the side of them. So he's moving up. He's got a shot on a Type 4. And he lobs it in and there's his first 622 damage. Remember that HE is going to do more damage on weaker armor pieces. Obviously a pen is going to be fantastic, but the weaker the armor, the better the damage is going to be when you shoot at it. And he's got Conqueror kind of peeking around and the T-34B is being very silly. He's going to move up and get into this V. Maybe try to get a shot on the Type 4, but then we see this tortoise. And the Tortois is sitting there looking at him. And the tortoise eats 389. Now the tortoise has pretty good frontal armor, so he gets a, a relatively low damage roll for the size of the gun. But, you know, 389 for not having to aim at anything is going to be pretty dang good. How's the team doing? Well, the team is not doing great. And like most epic games, usually your team has to be bad. So if you're going to have an epic game where you and your two platoon mates carry like bosses, like James Boss over there, probably you've got to have a bad team because you're going to do most of the damage and the kills. So he's picking apart this tortoise, and that's a bummer. you got a tank with a bunch of armor and you're facing a Type 5. You're just going to continue to eat HE shells, and there's just not much you can do about it. Other than make them completely mess. Now, it looks like uh, Steve, whoever this guy is, not James. Who are you? Looks like he's in a bit of trouble here. He's in a bit of a pickle, but the good news is he's got his two heavy buddies behind him. So those two can't completely YOLO, but they are able to move up through these buildings a little bit. Takes a hit from the Conqueror. Now, here comes the T-57. And what's the T-57 shooting? He's shooting heat, but he's having trouble getting through the T-57. Taking a couple hits. Ooh, ouch. Takes another hit. Chasing a ring around the rosy. Probably some comms with James Boss and trying not to get into each other's way. So he puts a hit on him. Finishes off the 57. And there's three kills. So the only three kills his team, their team has are from these three. And the Candyman is doing his best. Now he's got a Scorpion and a Conqueror in front of him and nearly everything else other than the Tortoise is behind him. Oh, there goes one of their friends. And we're down to four of us. Just the four of us. All right, that's good. No aiming required, just blap him with HE. Look out, Type 4. Okay, Type 4. Tortoise is moving in. This is looking grim, isn't it? We got four. There's one of them down finally. And they've got nine. So four to nine. And the only guy this direction is the Scorpion G. So Steve can't really leave the Scorpion G behind them. He's got a good enough gun to really give them trouble, especially if they're hitting them from behind. Oh, there's two more down. So now we're up to eight kills. Starting to even it up a little bit. So our big heavy fatties. Oh, look at this Scorpion. Scorpion's peeking around. He's looking. And oh boy. Guess <laughs> That's <laughs> got erased. <laughs> so one of the other things about having a really good game is usually there's a significant amount of RNG. And obviously when you're running just great big HE monsters like these things. Oh, got a hit in the side. There's a centurion behind him. 
where you don't really have to aim. Now watch this one. This is fantastic. Oh, no. <laughs> Another one goes down. The Yudes is charging in. Now, he is having a bit of trouble with this Centurion behind him. That guy's going to keep on pinning. And with a little bit of calm, we got a switcheroo. we got a cross-targeting situation here. BK goes after the Centurion. And you got Steve going ahead and heading here to the Centurion 7-1. And you think, well, Centurion 7-1, pretty good gun. There you go. There's one hit. So should be able to win, right? Should be able to take out Steve Gunner with his next shot if he aims it well. Steve does as much wiggling as this thing can do. Try to... Oh, goodness gracious. There's another shot. A ram bit of damage. And we are up to 13 kills. And only two guys left. So, folks, what you're about to see here is... 15 kills from a platoon. There goes one more. And this poor STG just really doesn't stand a chance. He's going to give it the old college try right here. Takes one shot. Maybe he just went home. Maybe he's getting ready to uninstall. Or he was AFK, potentially. Might have been AFK, because he really wasn't doing much there, was he? Came around that corner. And there you have it, folks. We've got a 15 kill... In the case of Steve Gunner, 6,455 damage game. They only lost one of their teammates in there. But wow, that was fun to watch. And plus, we get to admire the Candyman. The Candyman. The Candyman can. All right, guys, I hope you like what you saw. I usually say I hope you learned something, but I think all we learned there was that big derp guns in a platoon, a top-tier platoon, can do well. Is that what we learned? I think that's it. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for sending this in, Steve Gunner. For the rest of it, we will see you.